All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to PGA Tour 2K21 Fantasy Course of the Week. And this is a new year on Fantasy Course of the Week. This is week number 53, and we're doing the same course we did for week number 52. And the reason for that is, number one, it's my own course. I want to spotlight it. I want you guys to actually be able to play with me because when I did it last week, I set the society wrong, and it was Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Um, course and you guys never got a chance to actually play the course with me so we're gonna play it today with high winds we're gonna play it with firm fairways and we're gonna play it with them um, uh, an easterly direction wind on pin three um, so pin three is the hardest pin set uh, we played pin four and we've done pretty well in the in last week's video um, but this week we're doing houndstooth point and then from next week on we'll be doing brand new courses week after week after week and uh, I think this is this is kind of the best way to do it because I, I want people to be able to play this with me. Um, I'm sorry that I'm double double doing my own course, I should say, but uh, it was a pure accident last week, and it happens. And I want you guys to be able to um, to play with me. So we're playing on master difficulty, of course, as the society has always been. TGC Tours just announced they're going to pro difficulty, um, but I enjoy having the fantasy course of the week on master just because it's 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 just kind of stupid fun. I feel like these fantasy courses of the week. Anyway, please do drop a like. The videos uh, since I came back from Sweden have not been doing that good for some reason. I don't know, like the impressions are a lot worse and the views are a lot worse. Well, obviously when the impressions are less, the views are going to be less. But yeah, I'm not getting as many impressions for some reason. I don't know if it was because I was away for a few days or what, but um, it's annoying. Um, please, if you didn't see my course vlog already, go check that out. Me and Alex uploaded a course vlog. I will be doing another one. Um, at the start of the week, I just have to edit that. I have the clips um, on my computer now. Um, it's basically me and Alex in a four ball against uh, a scratch golfer and a, a pro golfer. He's on the Scandinavian tour, actually, in Sweden. So um, please do make sure to go check out the other course. Like, I think the other one, just the match play between me and Alex is a little better because it was 18 holes. This one is only nine holes. Um, but yeah, just check them out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I can improve. Um, not in my golf game, um, but in... The videos themselves thank you guys for all the support and um, the people that are still around and still watching uh, i really do appreciate you please do drop a like it's the best way to let me know uh you enjoy it as i said before so let's do this thing hounds tooth point once again um for the second time on video let's go well i played it on stream and stuff like that make sure you subscribe to crazy canuck 1985 as well guys he's the man that made Hello this there, all possible. He's the man who uh, brought this course to life, really. To you know, you can do here we had an idea, roundabout. and this man just Took absolutely crushed it. So please do make sure to show your love to him. He's nearing 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. He's just started streaming on YouTube PGA again. And uh, I believe he just started designing a new course. So please go show your love to him. That's a perfect drive on the first. And that is going to be just ideal. You're not going to be able to reach into the wind today. Um, and the pin sets, as I said, on pin set three are the hardest. So we'll Second see how we can do if we can um, if we can do all right here. I don't think anyone's played yet. We might be the first one to play. Uh, no, it's the next hole. It's the next hole. I need to remember that the carts are up there. Uh, so let's hit three wood, de-loft it a little bit, and uh, pump it up there. Perfect. Perfect. A little bit slow, but a little bit slow is okay. As long as it's not red slow, it's not going off the cliff, and we have a pitch shot from there. Let's make a birdie on the first. You know? Par fives you got to take advantage of on this course, because some of the par yeah, threes work. and par fours are really, He's really difficult. I think I'm going to hit the 66 straight up here. A little bit of spin. I can hear my other dog whining. My girlfriend's looking after her while I um, record. And Loki is here chilling with me in the office. I have the door closed so she doesn't terrorize him while I'm recording and make all sorts of noise. But um, yeah, you can go follow my new dog on Instagram, by the way. Indigo Inuit it's just hit 150 followers or is about to or something. So please do check her out. She's a gorgeous dog, I promise you. Northern Inuit. She's a little dire wolf. Uh, the dogs that played Nicely done. Uh, the dire wolves in Game of Lining Thrones, the puppies. An eight foot so yeah, pot. she's 12 weeks old and uh, causing havoc already in my life. But it's worth it. This putt's tracking. Oh, really? Oh. Wow, I just didn't hit it, I don't think. And that's going to be a boring old par at the first. Don't the don't be like my TJC Tours rounds yesterday, where it was boring par after boring par. We finished our TJC Tours season yesterday. And that's where I was so... We are... I'm so kind of weirded out by like how just quickly falling off these videos have done. Cause like, say the TGC Tours finale video here, right? Um, 
I don't know why, but the first video I did, the, the last event, got 6.5k views in its first 15 hours. And then this TGC Tours finale video, which is the finale of the rounds three and four of the exact same tournament, has 3.7 thousand. That's like nearly half of the views through 15 hours. I just don't understand it, man. Sometimes I really just don't understand YouTube at all in general, so it is what it is. All right. Um, 11 mile an hour win there. Straight into us. Downhill, though, so I'm going to hit this with just a touch of D-loft and hope for the best here. That's so good, man. Oh, yes. My tempo is on fire today, and that's going to be a beauty. Get up. Get up. Oh, it just sits down into the wind. Okay, Needed a little more D loft, but we're tied for first right now. Does that mean that one other person has started the, the tournament? I haven't actually checked. That should be in. That should be in. Keep turning! It doesn't. Well, well, well. It doesn't keep turning. Look at that All for right, a view there, by the way. Just straight off the cliff. And uh, par par start is not says. ideal there because those two holes are scorable, the first two there. Um, definitely the first one we should have birdied. And the second one there is birdieable, not gonna lie. So, um, an average start. Oh, Johnny Wallace, there he is, man. He's level par through three. Go on, Johnny, lad. It's just me and Johnny. The two early Irish, uh, the two early Irish, uh, men up and at it. The early bird gets the worm, you know, all that stuff. The early bird gets the worm, and that's gonna be perfect. It's gonna come back around nicely, and that would be a pitch from there, I think, or maybe even a flop. I think probably just a 57 yard pitch. More, actually. Okay. The 66-yard pitch should be good here if we use the backstop, potentially. Or I could use this here. Go into the backstop. Should I try that? Is that dumb? Oh, it's nowhere near enough, man. Get up! Big jump! Don't come back down! It's coming back down. I thought the wind would affect that a little bit, but it didn't. The uphill nature of that shot affected it way more than the wind did. Oh, my shot. fuck. And here you go, birdie putt coming up here. Oh, this is not going to be fun, boys. i tell you that right now. This is not going to be fun. So it breaks right at the very start, like minimally, and then it breaks back left as you start to go up the hill. There's not much in this, to be honest. There's really not much in this. I'm going to... It definitely breaks a little bit more to the to the left. Jesus Christ. How far back do I have to pull this? Oh, seriously. Oh, I couldn't hit that hard enough, dude. What? Like, I bring it back so far. Ooh, never like leaving those short. This one's for par. I really have to bring it back so fucking far. I don't think I hit it. Oh, it's coming back again. I swear I can't hit that hard enough. I literally can't bring myself to hit that fucking hard enough. You've had the same putt three times in a row. used a bit more pace. Here is the bogey. What am I doing? It's still not hard enough. Like, I do not understand. Well, it didn't quite get there, did it? Okay, this one can drop. A double, double bogey, bogey on the third when we were putting right, for birdie. Right the pitch shot really ruined us because, okay, like, that was an easy power otherwise. Um, at worst, it was a power if that stayed on the top tier. And now I'm fucking... Wow, Johnny just went from level par through three to four on through nine. Five. Fair play, Johnny. Speed golf. I guess I hadn't registered his holes yet. I cannot believe that, man. I genuinely cannot believe that. Like, just look at a series of unfortunate events there, right? Because that if, the, if that pitch had stayed up, which, I mean, I thought the wind was going to really help that get up there. And if that stays up there, shot here on the fourth. it's just the easiest birdie you'll ever see. Yes, please be good. Come on, wind. Ooh, I think we're going. To Wind's just here. not affecting that. Fourteen miles an hour. Don't you dare! Don't you fucking dare! Okay, third shot. Oh my god. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this up. I think this is an oversight in design. I don't know. I don't think we can get this up, Canuck. We'll get through these branches eventually. Going back down. That ball was bad for you anyway. That was a that was a bad ball. I have no idea what to do now. I have to take it unplayable. 
I have to take it unplayable. How do I do that again? Holy shit, what is happening? Why do you take a fucking unplayable? Oh my, splash. Why can't I take an unplayable right now? I swear there was an option to take an unplayable before, and now it's just not there. Am I missing it? Work hard, leaderboard, assign controller, quit. Oh, that one, uh, yeah, that's in the water. Shot limit exceeded. Right, you're this, you Nine over through four. Shot limit on the hole. We're going to move you along to the next one. Nine over for the round. And that was actually and like a genuinely good second shot as well. Like I hit it perfect. So the wind just did not affect it. I mean, I think the lie, the sloping can, uh, left to right affected it more than the wind, which I didn't think it would. So then... I've just got fucked over, let's be honest. I've got thoroughly fucked over in these first few holes. And that might be in the water too. Why not? That's gonna be good. I cannot believe this start, man. We've got about I really like cannot. Yards to the pin. It's hard to f it's hard to really believe it. It's slow, but it could still be okay. Looks like this one has eyes for the green. Yeah, we got away with that. It's a good one. Oh yeah, you'll get take it back to eight over. We're still in second place, boys. Seven feet away. Johnny's probably looking at my score, just going, "What the fuck?" <laughs> oh my, eight over through five with a birdie and two pars. Oh god, what has just happened? I should have picked a different course than my own course. Yes, <laughs> people coming in playing this now are gonna be like, "What is happening?" Blowing on this one, right to left. Why is this man 8 over through 5 on his own course? Oh, that's funny as fuck, dude. That's genuinely hilarious. Shit swing plane, shit tempo. It's in the okay. fairway. We're all right. Okay, about 235 yards. It's gonna reach. To go. I don't know, man. That has to be good. Has to be up. It is, it is, it is. Right, it's gonna be a chip, I think. Unless it just stays on the edge there. No, it's gonna go off. Oh, well, you didn't okay. hit this one, but that's okay. No worries at all. Third shot. No, I knew I should have gone for the nine. Is it gonna get there? No, it's not. I knew I should have gone Ooh, for the nine. Chip on that one. <laughs> I knew I should have joined well the nine nine. This this hole is awesome though because like that second shot is is so hard if you want to lay up you're gonna have a long one and obviously the longer the further back you are there the tougher it makes that shot because you're hitting to an island green and um it's not fun if you're like i was there 230 back or something all right let's see if we can have some some good golf played here for the remainder i need to get my shit together for the Ryder cup here boys because ever since i came back from sweden i've been utterly dog shit that's too far as well like never ever gonna be okay like I should have hit the an up and down one here to get out club of this before that, the 147. Car. Definitely. I think I can get this to land on the edge there. Yes, I can. Oh, it just hit the heavy rough, but that's still pretty decent. Good job. I'll take that. It's better than hitting a partial, uh, a partial goddamn splash. I think. I hate hitting partial splashes. They're literally impossible to do. It's hard enough to hit a normal splash. That's two pars in a row after the birdie to steady the ship. With a par five coming up. Let's see if we can get back to level par. No, there's absolutely zero chance. On master on this course with this pin set, there's zero chance. My mistake, honestly, on the first, um, on hole four, was it, that we went shot limit exceeded? Was just going at that pin. There was, like, there was no benefit to that at all. And I made the mistake of kind of trying to go at it. And it cost us going down the cliff. And it cost us... A mighty number of shots, and of course, on the par five, what do I do? I miss the fairway, because I never hit the fairway on par fives, because I'm a dickhead. Okay, and from the sand, bunker to bunker, why not? It's gonna kick into the fairway. Watch. <laughs> let's go. Ooh, look at that. Right, let's go for a flopperoony here, boys. Foreboding prediction. Foreboding prediction. All right, I'm gonna get this to sit. Good. I'll just be good for me. Sit. 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 That's a beauty. 
Good That's job. a beauty. I was going to hit the 43, but I thought that might actually hit the down slope and end up going off the back of the green, so I hit the 46. So far, so good. And we've made a birdie. Good job. Yeah, back to seven over. Bird. We're coming back. I know this course like the back of my hand. That's you know? Par currently. Got to go ask some crazy Canuck for some tips. No, but um, Griff is five over through three. We might not be last place by the end of this thing. Let's Come on. on. Come on. Nine. Let's do it. Oh, Boom! Perfection, baby. Demolish that. Perfectione. Let's go, Mario. And this oh, one's about perfect. 190 or so to the pin. 176. Should be perfect here if it hits the upslope. I don't think it will, though. Slow. Fuck. Now it's going to hit the upslope. Maybe a member's Get up! To the Get up! It's okay. Yeah, it's gonna stay up. All right, it's gonna be a birdie putt. Nice stroke. We're on Lovely view here, by the way. This one's about 21 feet to the cup. A little halfway house up here. Get there. No, oh. man, I just pulled it. The whole stick was pulling Six right the whole way. I would have had it otherwise. All right. It's gonna do just nice. It's a par there. That's a toughish hole, I think, for sure. And we're out in 44. That's like something I do in real life, guys. So uh, I've gone out in 44 multiple times this year in real life, so um, not ideal. Griff birdies four, so he's back to four over. It's a battle between me and Griff now to see who can be the, the worst Irishman. Johnny Walsh is gonna take the top Irishman for this video. That's a perfect drive. Look at this. Tee shot's See, looking nice here. This tee shot is a lot scarier when the wind is with you because it kicks down to the left hard. Because you can go straight over the bunker and it kicks down to the left hard and it just keeps rolling down this hill. And it just doesn't stop until like the very edge. And it makes you think like you're going into the water, but most of the time, honestly, you're not going to go in the water anyway. Like there's no chance. Away. It's cool. I hate this shot when you're on that slope, but the wind should be taking this back to the pin a little bit. Hope you dialed in a bit of backspin on this one. Ooh, nearly jars it. What a shot. What a yeah, shot. Look at that pitch mark. Oh, oh my god. Dude, nothing too bad. Looking pretty good. And just holds on. Let's nice go. Look at that. Out over the water. A beautiful shot. And ever since the first four holes, we've played relatively well. We've been three under for the last six. Three under for the last six, solid golf. You take out that shit where we got effed over. Like, cause that is what happened. Hole number 11. That's Come what on. happened there. I mean, you know, it's it's my own fault, but um, but you know, I, that, that is what happened. Like we should have been able to take an unplayable or at the very worst, we should have been able to, um, it shouldn't have stayed there in the first place anyway. It should have gone down all the way off the cliff, but That'll um. For you. It is what it is, I guess. Up here, I'm not even risking trying away. any shit with that. And hit the 124 D loft of like heavy. Yeah, don't need to D loft at that. Wind is behind you. Quite significantly. I've hit it slow. Which uh, oh, I think left. it would have been pretty good if it wasn't slow, actually. I think it would have been really good. It would have been all that over the pin. Nicely. But it's a chance. And this one is for the bird. We haven't given it a chance though. It's not enough break whatsoever. No, well, that was uh, yeah. And it's another kind of boring old par. We're in fourth short. position out of the four that have played okay, so far. Well, now let's move on. And uh, back nine, we'll try go low. So we need to be six, six under for the next seven the holes to shoot level par. I'd need to really go off badly. <laughs> Johnny six under. Fair play on these pins. That's good score, Johnny. That's a good score, Johnny boy. Johnny's still waiting on his rogue order as well, like me. So um, if you're in Ireland and you haven't got it yet, I wouldn't worry. I'd just um, be a little bit patient with the deliveries, the the courier system. Was and there's no way I've just did that. I haven't hit a red fast yet today, I'm pretty sure, until that one. Like, of course, on the one hole, I want to fucking... Well, that one's goodbye. The one Seven hole you can actually reach with the driver shot. and stuff. That's why I got kind of aggressive or something. Oh, no, no. That's gone. That is gone. Uh, no, actually it kicked right. We're lucky. That might be really good now. Come back off that. Don't stay up there. No, it's going to stay up there. That makes this shot so difficult well with that pin. 
Here we go. Oh, no, dude. It's actually nearly impossible out. to stop it here. That's the problem I'm having. Oh. I hit it too hard. I hit it too hard. It needs to slow down. Big style. It needs to slow down. Big style. Okay, it's going too far left to go off the green, I think. No, it's not. Stop! Just a little bit aggressive oh my there. god, look how close we are to going off the green. And this the this goes out of... Okay, no, it wouldn't actually. But like down there, if you go down there, you're out of bounds. This one, it would have just went down a little bit more. Okay, holy shit. It's for Bogue, you know. It could be a good one. Bogey save, go baby. That would have been a nice birdie. It would have been a nice birdie. Tell me, tell me this course is entertaining. Like, it might be difficult. It might be frustrating at times, as this round has shown. But it's entertaining. I mean, that thing on the fourth hole shouldn't have happened. But uh, that guy's 14 over now. We're not last we go anymore. Okay, good stuff. On the 13th. But other than that, like, the, the mistakes I've made have been my own, you know? Oh, this oh, one's slicing, God. Why every par five? There's something Hang about this game, man. Stuff. With me in the par fives, where no matter what, my tee shot on par five is gonna be red slow or red fast. Good job there. I either Back make an eagle or I, I do shit on the par fives. Quite the elevated like, there's no in between with me. Want to check your club selection? That's fast. Sit. Needs to sit. Needs to sit there. Sit there. Sit there. Okay, that's pretty good. That's good a birdie job. chance. We're on the green. I mean, if you don't make birdie from here, you're kind of dog shit, honestly. I haven't, because uh, I am dog five. shit, and I can't hit a straight putt. Okay, I forgot that, that I can't hit a straight off. putt anymore. Oh my right, god, I'm so bad. I need to fix this for the Ryder board. Cup. I need to fix it fast. And I need to fix this really round. fast. I need to fix it true. The thing is, I was in such good form. Coming into the playoffs, coming into everything, like, I was in such good form. And it's just all been tossed out the window. Like a rag doll. I'm gonna try to get a hole in one here. My form has just disappeared. Oh, that could actually be really good. No, it's short, is it? Holy shit, is it short? Whoa! Wind into you on this hole, it's nearly hard to reach. Fuck me, man. I thought with the downhill nature of that shot would be okay. No, it certainly was not. Come on, keep turning, keep turning, baby. Get in there, get in there. No, it's just well, gonna stop short. It's a par. One. That one's pretty tough. Let's see how this all adds up. Oh, man. So without that one hole, we're level par right now. Seven over par after that one. So I'm gonna class my score as level par. Okay, fair? Fair, I think. I think right, that's fair. This one out in the fairway. People are gonna be like, who designed the course? <laughs> All right. Well, it is what it is. Ounce tooth point. An awesome venture into fantasy golf, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much Second as I have. It has like oh, near five thousand plays now, I think, and uh, um, five stars. So yeah, people are people are liking it. Fair play, guys. That is another black fast, and it's another pull. But luckily enough, the wind is helping us here, and that should come back towards the pin there. We got away with it. We got away with it. Oh yeah. And That's I got a straight putt for once. Nicely. This putt's going. We have. And we've hold it. It's a birdie. There, a beautiful birdie there. Birdie as we so look far. across the mountainous, uh, the mountainous seas, we're back to plus six. Three holes remaining. Let's see and if we can get. I want to get below plus now. five. Okay. Plus four would be like a respectable score. It's not respectable, obviously, but considering what happened, it would be a respectable score. Here comes a par four. Third position, baby. Woohoo! I'm going to draw into the wind here because um, this hole's actually um, make a move up sloping left to right on the fairway here. As you can see from this bounce here, it's going to bounce away right. Look. And, uh, let's, Boom. Let's build Bounces. Well, I kind of bounce a little bit straight there. That's actually okay. Good shot. This one's where you hit, I guess. Five yards out. That's good. It's really good. That's really, really good. Be right on distance. Come on, be right on distance. Looks good. Oh, it's a little right, but it is good on distance. Stop. Okay, I thought nice I was going to spin back off the green high. or something. That's where we like it. All right. All right, if you can sink this, snatch a birdie and no, be on our nowhere way. Nowhere near enough break. Holy shit, that was breaking way yeah, harder than I tough. expected. Uh, a little bit a little bit too hard on that one. And it's a boring nice old par once again. For par. Looks good at uh, uh, whatever time of day this is. Is this dusk okay, or is so this um, at six over dawn? I think it's dusk. Looks really good, actually. 
Like when you're looking over the cliffs when you're taking a putt and stuff. Here we go, hole 17, though. My favorite hole on the course. My favorite hole on the course. I'm actually going to hit the 185 here. Is that crazy? Is that a little crazy? Maybe, but... Sometimes you gotta be crazy. Wow, the wind is fucking taking that. I thought I was aiming out nearly over the cliff, and it still took it even way more than I thought. Yeah, 194 was the club. Yeah, 185 was not enough. Nice approach. With the wind taking it like that. I think I'll let your putting do the talking here from way out. Please don't let my putting do the talking. It's so bad. That was actually a decent putt though, but I just didn't no, hit it hard enough, tough, unfortunately. <laughs> And that's a boring right, old par once again. Let's move to the we only next. had fucking four birdies in this round. That's and quite low by my standards. I usually have a lot more birdies than that. So four birdies, a double bogey, a shot limit exceeded. You know, it's uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> All right, hole number 18, ready to go. Ooh, this is tough from the back pins with the wind like this. No, that's... How did I hit that? Please stop. Fucking heavy rough and stop. Oh, oh God, we're haunted. Work, is it? We're okay, haunted. We I thought for sure that was going down the currently. cliff, man. Five here. Crazy. Is that too much? Oh, that's really good. Go in the hole. Go in the hole to finish but with the banger. No. Uh, good shot. Gonna be a really good shot to finish. Lovely, lovely yep, stuff. Work for you you I'm gotta respect that. it. And that's a birdie that's on the last. Tracking. Boom. Let's go. Okay. Minutes, uh, Five over. Like Woohoo! 77 on my own course, baby. It's not the round we would have wanted, but it kind of got derailed early with that uh, with that double. What was that, a five putt? <laughs> I was putting for birdie. It was a four putt at, uh, at best. Um, at least I'm not 17 over through 12 like Griff. Seb is one under through one. Go on, Seb. Johnny Walsh, six under through 18. The bear is not going to catch him, it looks like, unless he can birdie 17 and 18, which is no easy feat. I appreciate all the support, guys. Uh, sorry my play has been so bad since I came back. I'm going to do a little bit, little bit of practice off stream. Um, before we start the Ryder Cup, definitely, and I'll have the fantasy course of the week next week. Ryder Cup is starting 13th of September, so mark that in your calendars. And um, that is only just a day over a week away now. So, uh, yeah, make sure to drop a like, show support, and I'll see you guys next week for another fantasy course of the week. I don't know what I'm going to do actually this week, though. Because there's no TGC Tours coming up now this week. What else should I do PGA-wise? Maybe I'll do a couple streams or something. Um, I'll do my own society anyway, definitely, but um, looking for more content. Uh, I will be doing F1 as well. Um, on the second channel, I'll probably be doing some games coming up soon as well, so make sure you're subscribed over on the Apex Hound too, because there's a lot of cool story games coming out soon. Um, I might play more Golf Club Wasteland. Let me know if you're interested in that game as well and want to see more. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. It's been a pleasure to serve you. Peace out.